Alrighty, so I previously dropped a video talking about the new blessings and new ruins. I kind of want to elaborate a little bit more about the choices that we have. So like, an example that I'm going to do right now is in a situation where we're using these, it's more for a close-up, right? Um, so with the release of these specific ruins, to some might say, hmm, we've already got Almighty Break, it's kind of like, why would we want to get these sets of ruins when we can resort to these sets? and it comes down to the situation that you're on uh that you're in so an example of one of the most painful situations that this game has to offer right now is the ice queen right we all hate that boss i'm sure in it i've seen a lot of people mention it right she is the pain of everyone's existence and one of the best way to i guess go about her is range range is very key right and so this is where this specific ruin comes into play because that's one of the key things uh, separating these ruins compared to these ruins. In, in a versus situation, this ruin has the range, gives you protection, and obviously you can get the additional damage off. Whereas this ruin, yes, it's close up, but the damage output is going to be far more superior. But it comes down on the situation on whether or not if you can close the gap if not you're going to resort to this one but they both provide almighty break that's the plus side so that's the, it really is just separating these two to where this is more for close-up and this is more for long range or mid range at best right obviously i don't have the dark one but i've already spoke about how that's going to be utilized and how clutch that is in terms of the current situation that we have in terms of the wind um you can actually double stack the, uh, the both all the both of the um breaks together so that way you can make good use of um, making so that the increase in the target's damage taken is by 15% and then on this one um, not only can you potentially drop down so that they're gonna have to take the crit uh, but the damage increases by 20% when attacking enemies with their elemental weakness so realistically this is a nice little combo alongside with obviously um, wind shroud it's on extreme of course so this is overall is kind of like the same it's just you're losing out on this being an almighty break and this being uh, a heavy break i don't know why they decided to go heavy break on that one but it's fair wind is fairly similar of course to to be fair um the water one i will personally say i do prefer um this version purely because as i've mentioned in the previous video frostbite because one of the ones that i do heavily use is this so that way i can just kind of get my uh, frostbite additionals off whilst doing the uh, skill damage of course so i will say in terms of the water element i am in favor uh, for this new one but again it's range if i can close up the gap if i need the freeze i can resort to having a variety of options so all right so we're on what was it level 17 is one i put it on um okay so let's see how this one plays out now the one thing which i will say because i have used it is um it does kind of lock you in so what i mean by that is if i activate it now so if i want to move right now it's going to be very difficult to do so so them giving us the uh the old shield with it actually is a massive w so the levers have really thought out because obviously when it when it comes to getting a shield from this i'm just like mm, is that really necessary could it could i've wanted something else more for it but because obviously the theme of this weapon is that you know with that this almighty break uh, ruin as well as the other one there's a bit of a charge up to it um this one has protection in terms of the uh, shield play so that's actually a nice little w to have a nice little protection on our end so we'll gladly take that so just chip damage off okay well could have done a little bit better on that one there we go commit to it i mean the damage about output isn't again it is it's compared to the the close range one it's it's nowhere near nowhere near but then again i don't have the legendary version of it i do say though if i did get the legendary version of it i'm, I'm expecting it not to be as crazy if i'm being honest but i'll have to wait and see at a later time there we go. Actually, okay, that wasn't too horrible, actually. I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. That wasn't too horrible. Oh. Spawn the boys in. Backflip out. Look at that. Look at that. The, the gymnastics. I don't know what it is with this update, but ever since this update came out, bro, every time I summon the boys... Oh, God. I wasn't paying attention. All right. Drop the cannon. There we go. That was not supposed... Wait, what's going on? There we go. I'm literally just tanking all those. There we go. Beautiful. Can we halt her? Beautiful. Okay. I'm just going to summon everyone, because why not? There we go. I mean, it's working nicely. I mean, you, got, you guys are getting a, 
a clear thought. Okay, so then we can just kind of do this again. Kind of want to see how much this builds up to. That's a fair amount. That is a fair amount. No, thank you. And then we can just go with that. Hold you. Backflip. So again, boom, boom. You know what? What 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 better way to end it than uh the skill itself, eh? Let's see. Actually, I don't think this will actually. I might be able to knock off two bars. Oh, three bars. Okay, okay, okay. We'll take those. We'll take those. We'll take those. Boom. Okay. So that I mean, okay. So that isn't fairly too long range. Although it does have a decent amount, uh, a decent amount of like wide span. Um, and then, of course, it is mid-range, close mid-range. It's nowhere near as close as whereas um, the fist that w uh, is. To be fair, actually, that being said, the fist itself does have a decent amount of range. Because you can, from a small distance, launch the fist. So it, that, so realistically, yeah. But then again, with this one, there, there's more on the table in terms of, I guess, uh, a, a slight, m little bit more of a further gap shield play going on. Uh, the additional damage to also take into consideration. Um, look, it's just another option, like I said, with new bosses coming about and obviously with their strategic play being slightly different. And in, in this instance, it is a risk factor to get that close up. So like with the fist, it's yeah, it's it's going to be a no-go. Honestly, comparing the two being like, oh, which is better? You really can't do that because, I mean, realistically with the wind element, they're fairly similar. The only difference is, is that this one is giving you almighty break. I mean, again, you've got fairly decent range with Breach, kind of. It's nothing too drastic. So, like, the wind low-key are similar on both. It's just I'll give it to um, the old set because of the almighty break. Um, in terms of the dark element, I mean, this is the only almighty dark element that we have. Again, good crowd control with uh, the amount of area this can hit. So, that again, that's solid. I've You know, we've just gone over this with... Um, both the fire ones having a little bit of a build-up. In terms of maximum damage, you're going to give it to the armor break. Outside of that, um, it goes to the dagger rush, of course. However, if you are into your whole frostbite uh, attacks, then uh, yeah, this is going to be the wave. Now, this one is a attack that works in a in a way that it kind of it, it breaks over time. So that's the only kind of like iffy part about it. But at the end of the day. Again, if you're, if you're keeping that range, you're getting that additional off. Got the frostbite popping off too. Not only that, whilst you're breaking away, you can still attack the enemy. So it's like two for the price of one. Actually, you know what? I I've got to give you guys a, a bit of an example if you guys haven't gotten this. Just before we call it, I'll show you guys what I mean. So again, this one's fairly decent. So overall, yeah, we've got a lot of options. So do your thing. So we're going to dodge. We'll activate it. And so this is, this is I mean, to be fair, if you want to pile up this is what i mean i kind of mess with this i mean clearly it's not actively being used quite nicely now purely because we're not exactly going against boss but like i can freeze the enemy and then whilst they're being frozen right i can still do my attacks i can use my other skill and i'm still chipping away i'm still chipping away bro this ruin low-key could be something i'm loving it you know wait why did that did they nerf this skill wait did i forgot the right skill on Wait, why does that feel different? Anyway, um, you guys get the idea. I'm going to leave it there. Just kind of wanted to uh, use some of these ruins, do some little combinations, show you guys some of the bosses that these ruins are going to be extremely helpful on. I do expect that going forward in the future, uh, these ruins can come in handy. But the fact that we've got an almighty breaking ruin where we can just continue on piling on our attacks. I mean, this with the almighty break, you can double up on the almighty wind element. So if there's an enemy that we need to break ASAP, Boom, drop this, do the iceberg, and then we can just kind of then go about and uh, use a water element, freeze the enemy even more with a grimoire, that's more frostbite. <laughs> oh my god. It's beautiful. Water element is looking very, very strong right now. I'm, I'm loving it with, with what we can cook up.